Experiential Global Change. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 253. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 253, uh, January 28th, 2018 edition. Today, what I'd like to talk about is experiential global change. And this is really what One Community is meant to be. What you see happening in the background here are the seven different village models that we're designing and will build to host people to come and experience global change the One Community way. If people like what it is that they experience, if they like what it is that they see, either in whole or as any individual component, then it's open source and do-it-yourself replicable so that people can take the information, the experience of seeing these things and seeing how One Community operates and go and replicate that on their own. Or, because it's open source, to modify it, adapt it, and create it better, hopefully. And so our idea with Experiential Global Change is to run One Community as a teacher demonstration community uh, that will grow to a village and eventually a city and operate throughout all those different stages as a teacher demonstration hub that people can come and experience. Initially starting with just uh, 50 people and then upgrading to 100 and then eventually hosting hundreds, then thousands, then tens of thousands of people annually to experience everything that one community is. The social architecture, the open source education model, of course, all the sustainable blueprints and designs that you see here in the background and that we're developing so people can come and stay in an earth bag home, uh, earth bag constructed home, or a compressed earth block home, or a shipping container village, or a recycled materials village, or a treehouse village. And people like what they experience, take those blueprints, take those designs, and either build a village for themselves or replicate it as just an individual home or residence or modify it and adapt it to create something entirely different. And so the experiential global change part of it is the idea that we are not just open sourcing and free sharing everything that is that we're doing, but we're inviting the world to participate. We're inviting people to come and live at one community, come and visit one community as a recreation, as a, as a, as a recreational space, as a vacation destination, as a place for social events and activities, uh, eventually festivals and things like that, all hosted on the property so that people can come and experience all the different aspects. And through doing this, through this experiential global change, our goal, our desire, our hope is to touch the hearts and minds of people in such a way that they are motivated, that they are inspired so much that it becomes impossible to return to their lives and feel the same way about living the traditional lifestyle that most people nowadays are not really happy with, or rather at least that could be so much better more time and availability and freedom to do the things that you want to do and more of those things to participate in as well. And that's what the whole social architecture model of one community is all about. So this experiential global change model is designed to have all the different foundations of sustainability and to be an evolution of sustainability that provides a way of living that most people will find to be better than the way it's living right now. So you'll experience the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, as well as all of the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as high good education models, high good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. Putting all these things together is an evolution of sustainability, so when people come and visit one community, they can see how they all work together and how it is a comprehensive solution to really all of the challenges that humanity is facing right now. Homelessness, hunger, social injustice and inequality, crime, poverty, all these things, war, you know, building the foundations so that people can live happy lives and have all of their needs met and be able to share that with others as well. So this is our idea of the experiential global change and our all volunteer, nonprofit, 100% unpaid team has been working on it now for over seven years, designing all the plans, building everything, creating everything open source, creating all the website infrastructure so that our project can really grow indefinitely. So that while we're hosting eventually hundreds of thousands of people, we can continue to open source and free share and our process for doing it will just expand and accelerate even faster. 
this point, we've had over 300 volunteers assist. That's just the 300 that are listed on our website. There's even more than that that have helped out. And we're just getting started. Imagine what we can do. I mean, these are all volunteers helping out while they have regular jobs and they're living their lives. You know, imagine what we're capable, what we'll be capable of doing when we bring all those people together in, one, in an environment where we can collaborate in real time instead of collaborating virtually where we can work full time on the goals of one community and open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're creating. This is our idea of experiential global change. What we're doing right now is just the beginning. Where we're going with this, the idea of being able to host hundreds of thousands of people and open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations so we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so the idea spreads its own, that's the goal. And that's what will create experiential global change, not just through our project, but through the self-replicating model and other versions of our project that could be radically different, providing a radically different experience, but still experiential global change. So with all that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments uh, working towards this goal. Here it is. Take a look. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we designed the volleyball, mini soccer, and basketball area, adjusted the skate park field size, added benches and tables, and changed the wooden texture to concrete for the field, pools, and tunnel. The core team also continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. This week, we added 10 new wireframe page sections and transferred images from our Google Doc instructions to 54 new pages, properly paginated and updated. You can see here an example of one of these new pages. And the core team working with Heymanth Kotaru, structural engineering master student, worked on the Earthbag Village final buttress calculations for gravity and snow loading, as shown here. Working with Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, the core team also created the complete shipping container village materials cost page. You can see some of the new page here. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 98 of Dean's work. This week's focus was starting the process of test rendering the final perspective you see here. Also helping with the Cobb Village designs, Patrick Lubin, founder of the Ina Maka project, created this initial equipment list for the metal maker space. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 14th week working on the compressed earthblock village render editions. This week he finished work on the front view looking northeast completed another set of updates and finalized this front view, and also finished this final top floor view looking west. All of these images are on the site now too. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her fourth week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential designs. This week, she updated the seating areas in the central area and second floor, created blinds and a wall-mounted dish holder, and redesigned the office space under the stairs all of which you can see here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished another 10% of the LEED lighting tutorial details for the lighting design of the city center and all other one community structures. This week we added more content, formatting, and a diversity of new images. This brings this page to 70% complete. The core team also reviewed the complete lighting design spreadsheet for errors and missing content and then added column descriptions to make the spreadsheet easier to understand. And the core team reviewed the wind loads report and added comments to get additional resources, references, and clarifications where needed. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. What you see here are his second generation updated calculations and tutorial content for the live and dead loads. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 10th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was adding pool and other comparison and clarification details to the HVAC presentation. You can see some of this new content here.
One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and created additional daily eating plans and meals for 130 pound women, as you see here. We also started creating the complete permaculture design for the property and the open source tutorial page that will share and teach the complete process. You can see the beginnings of this new page here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued researching images to add to the education evaluation and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. We found 12 additional images for the collaborative ongoing growth strategies page, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. The Highest Good Network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Pretty Kodari, Shubar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team edited the menu bar to display menus based on a person's role, resolved GitHub setup issues with Adam, optimized network calls to improve app performance, and enhanced the My Profile page to enable users to manage their personal links. They also added new fields to the dashboard service to serve data for other cards on the dashboard page and researched a service to integrate the modal with the project's UI. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of experiential global change, a place that people can visit and experience everything that one community is, take what they like and replicate it because it's all open source and free shared and do it yourself replicable. If this is interesting to you, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that is that we're creating, visit our written blog, visit our website, check it out. If you'd like to help, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help, help us through social media. Like this YouTube, YouTube video, like our YouTube channel, share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for you to share our information, to get the information out there, to get it in the hands of as many people as possible. We are on Facebook. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Twitter. We are on Pinterest. We are on Instagram now. All of the different, the, the major social media sites, about 10 or 15 additional ones that I didn't mention, we're on all of them to make it as easy as possible to share our information. But to get the information out, we need your help. So if you'd like to help us out, visit any one of those. The links to all of them are on the bottom left-hand corner of our website. You can visit that, join our pages, follow us in whatever way works best to you for you. And uh, thanks, like thanks for following our project. Of course, if you'd like an email, Every time one of these updates comes out, we have an email list as well. You can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. You'll get one email from us each week, which will share uh, this update, each update, each week, and you can follow our progress that way. It's a great way to keep in touch with us and see what it is that we're working on from week to week. And, of course, thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for following our project. Thanks for supporting us in whatever way works best for you. If it's just watching these videos, that's great. If it's sharing our information on social media, that's great too. If it's a donation that you've given to our project, thank you. It makes a big difference. We're 100% unpaid, all nonprofit, all volunteer uh, project. So every dollar that gets donated to us helps cover our operational expenses. It does not go to wages. It does not go to salaries. It goes 100% to forwarding our open source mission. And we really do appreciate it. It makes a great difference. And so with that, I will see you next week. And of course, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.